Hey Curly Tees, today we're making a matcha powered AHA cream gel for the skin. Matcha powder has more antioxidants than regular green tea and is said to help improve skin over time. Olive leaf extract is said to have antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory properties. Sodium PCA is a humectant more powerful than glycerin and leaves both skin and hair moisturized. Hydrolyzed quinoa is a penetrating protein which is thought to help soothe irritated skin. Now you can use purified or distilled water. If you're making this for someone else, distilled water is preferred. Heat this preservative in water for three to five minutes until the powder is fully dissolved. Make sure there are no more granules of undissolved powder in your water. Gel the water first. This is how the mix looks after using a stick blender to form the gel. Nature Silk is a natural alternative to propylene glycol and other petroleum derived emollients. This recipe uses glycolic acid at 10%. If that is too much for you, reformulate it for a percentage you're more comfortable with. Glycolic acid, of course, can be corrosive straight out of the bottle, so be careful when using it. Have your paper towels and, if you're nervous, a base solution of some sort to actually neutralize the acid if it spills onto something.
Now, you don't have to use expensive matcha for this recipe. All I have is this expensive Ujido brand. Add a tiny amount of water to form a smooth paste to make sure the matcha won't show up as clumps in your final product. Pour the contents of vessel 2 into your gelled phase and manually mix it. Now this should turn into a shiny smooth gel. Just continue to stir. Pour the contents of Vessel 3 into the batch and mix well. The mix will turn a soft yellowish green color. Again, manually mix well. Using a stick blender here could actually cause the viscosity to decrease.
In this recipe, hydrolyzed quinoa is being used for its alleged ability to soothe irritated skin. It can be used both on the hair and the skin. I forgot to push record before I actually poured up the caprylic capric triglycerides. Anyway, use four grams of CCT here. Use a good liquid extract, not the powder or opening capsules. Use a good liquid extract. Now, olive squalane is optional, but highly recommended because it doesn't oxidize like regular oils and has, quote, exceptional spreading properties, unquote, according to lotioncrafter.com. On first check, the pH is too low. When formulating with glycolic acid, it's best for the pH to be between 3 and 3.5. That's how you get the most out of this ingredient. Okay, okay. The dreaded triethanolamine. If you have another ingredient you prefer which raises pH, by all means use that. You don't have to use TEA. Now in real lighting, the pH is right where I need it to be. I'm using an airtight 200 milliliter glass cosmetics jar from infinityjars.com, but be warned, it holds a little less than eight ounces of product. The jars help to keep the contents fresher for a longer period of time than using regular plastic jars. It's not necessary, but use it if you have it. Okay y'all, enjoy your handmade AHA cream gel. You can certainly half this recipe if this amount is too much for you. I'm using this both on my face and the body, so I made about seven ounces. Now, there is more where this came from. Don't forget to visit curlytea.com for all of the DIY recipes, including the full ingredients list, instructions, my notes, 
and other information. Follow on social media or become a patron at Patreon if that's more convenient to you. I'll talk to you guys soon.